Hello people, I'm Ginny Metherill and I am a fourth generation witch who has practiced witchcraft all her life, having been taught by my family, my friends, my coven, and sometimes the good folk of YouTube give me inspiration to forward my path. Today we're going to talk about my favourite festival, which is coming up. I have always known it as May Day, not being a Wiccan, but if you are um, a Druid or a Wiccan or a Celt or a Gale, you might know it as Beltane. So this is my video for Beltane. Beltane traditionally starts at sunset on April the 30th and lasts until sunset on May the 1st. May Day rituals and rites for traditional witches started with the sunrise on May the 1st and ended with the sunset. So the full May Day rituals were performed within the light of the sun, although there might have been a bit of Maying the night before, which we'll go into. So where I grew up, which was an incredibly rural village in the middle of nowhere, they had a very pagan May Day festival, which is why I have always enjoyed the May Day rites. What happened was that a girl who was aged about 11, the prettiest of the village, would be chosen. And several attendants, of which I was many a time one, would also be chosen to escort her. The girl and her attendants would all be dressed in white. They would be crowned with the most beautiful garlands of flowers. And then we were all loaded onto a pony and trap. This pony and trap then processed around the village and as it passed the villagers' houses they would come out and throw flowers onto the pony and trap and then join the procession. So as we walked around the village we were rained upon with flowers and gathered more and more people. Finally, the end of this was that the Queen was taken to the school grounds where she was set upon a throne and crowned and then Something a bit odd happened, and I'm not quite sure, but she was sort of married. And I can't remember this part exactly, uh, because I was very young when this was happening. And everybody I know who lives in that village is now dead, and so I can't ask them. And my brothers weren't there, because they were too busy being away at school. So I don't know what happened, but I think she, there was some sort of marriage ceremony. And I believe they chose the sort of the best looking 12 year old boy from the village to then wed her. This was then followed by dancing around the maypole. There will be stalls, games, fates, drinking, you know, food. It was a really fun festival. And this fate finished at sunset. The May Queen was then richly decrowned and we all went home to bed, very happy and full of May Day loveliness. My mother at the time, I remember her laughing, saying this is wonderful, it's the most pagan of festivals, especially with this marriage ceremony. And I don't know who was marrying whom, you know, the May Queen and the May King were obviously marrying each other, but I don't know who they represented. As a result, I have always loved May Day rites. It was on May Day that, of course, we danced around the maypole. It's the male phallic symbol being stuck into the earth, which is the female womb. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I just quite like maypole dancing. I used to do it as a child as well, and it's just so beautiful. I mean, the colours of the pagan god at the time are red, white and blue, and those always are the colours of a traditional maypole ribbons. So Beltane is one of the great four fire festivals of the year. The others being Lunasa, which is on the 1st of August, Sawn, which is Halloween, and Imok, which is on the 1st of February and is the beginning of spring. So this festival, the Beltane Festival, marks the high end of spring and the beginning of summer. Fire festivals were always celebrated with a bonfire, and I'm a particular fan of a bonfire festival. What they would do is on the night before Beltane, the 30th of April, everyone would douse their hearts and put out their fires. A bonfire would have been built and this would have been let at sunset on the 30th of April. This would be burnt through the night until sunrise to greet the new May morning. And at sunrise, everyone would take a flaming ember to their own homes to light their hearths back up again. These embers were then used. The cattle were driven through them for purification and prosperity in the coming year to make sure that they bred well and made good beef. Men and women alike would jump over them, showing off not only their prowess, but this is a purification of jumping over the flyers and getting the blessings from the gods. 
I love a fire festival and sadly we're not able to hold a bonfire for you. So I'm going to show you a really nice fire ritual that you can do on Beltane or May Day with your family and friends inside or outside, should it be warm enough, depending on how you feel. This is my May Day fire rite. Firstly create your altar and light three or four candles or as many candles as you like. This now represents the bonfire that would have been. Ask each person present to use the altar candles to light their own. And then they, with this candle, must go round and light another candle within the same room. And these candles, when lit, will form a circle within which you can perform your May Day rites. All you need to do is ensure there is one candle to be lit for each person present. And then your rite is complete. Beltane was celebrated as the marriage between the green man and Flora, or in whatever guise the god and the goddess came together, might have been the union of the earth and the sky, depending on which religion and which tradition you were following. But it is a union festival. Beltane and May Day is a brilliant and most auspicious day for hand fasting, which is the pagan terminology for a marriage ceremony. It normally lasted a year and a day and you could have something very grand and ornate such as the uh, rituals that were enacted in my primary school days or you could simply lay a broom across the floor and jump over it and this meant that you and your partner had decided to stay together for a year and a day. After a year and a day you might want to renew your vows for seven years, lifetime, 14 years, 20, depending on how long you thought you might stay with them I think. I don't know. I, you know. In the village where I grew up not only did they have the May Day celebrations but there was always a wedding on that day because it was known this to be an auspicious day for a marriage ceremony. Not only did you have the pagan marriage ceremony happening over here, the church was always full with some young bride and groom who were getting married. This village where I grew up had brilliant pagan associations which we were all taught throughout my time at primary school. Of course another great tradition on May Day is to go a maying. You would go into the woods or into the fields with your loved one the night before on the 30th of April and spend the night making love and looking at the stars. And in the morning as the dew came upon the earth, you would take that dew from the bushes of the hawthorn and use it to bathe your face. And this would give you beauty and grace throughout the year. Meanwhile, you and your partner would then gather huge bunches of blossoms and baskets of flowers and bring them back to give as gifts to your friends and family. And this May Day basket tradition is something that I still like to do now. And here is my spell for you. The spell itself is extremely simple. I'm going to pick a basket of spring flowers and I have chosen dandelions for sunshine, happiness and health. Put in also a couple of cow slips which bring protection and love forget-me-nots for all those who have gone before and those that we wish to think of when we're giving this basket. A couple of late narcissi, just because. And finally some bluebells which are beloved by the Fae. And this basket is ready to give to loved ones. Go a-maying with your partner. Go out camping, wake up with the sunrise, which I think is about 5.45am in the UK. Wash your face in the dew and make love as the sun rises. It's a lovely tradition and in fact the old country ways didn't mind a baby's being born nine months later out of wedlock. It was considered you know, a nice fertile period. You were praising the gods by doing a maying. People would make libations and offerings to the gods on May Day and if you are a deity inclined witch then this is a great thing to do with your May Day altar. Now the offerings I always like to suggest are those that are food based or drink based because you can share them with your loved ones, friends and family. I have made some crystallised violets which I'm going to place as decoration on some homemade cake and this I'm going to give as an offering for May Day on my altar. This recipe calls for a small amount of caster sugar, one egg white, 
bowl to mix your egg whites in, a paintbrush, and obviously your violets. Start with separating the white from the yolk of your egg. I always do this in the shell, I find it easier. Add a small splash of water to your egg whites. Briskly combine the water and egg white mix. Picking up your violet, take your paintbrush and dip it into the egg mix and then paint carefully the front and back of each flower petal. Sprinkle caster sugar onto the wet petals so that it sticks to them, shaking off any excess. Lay the flowers on some paper towels and then place it in a warm place out of direct sunlight where the flowers can dry. This will take anywhere between 12 and 36 hours. I use the crystallised violets to decorate my rhubarb cake and with a couple more violets this makes a beautiful offering to place on my May Day altar. Violets are a flower of love and always have been. If you can't find violets, do use roses because they will work just as well. I have actually been using violets recently because they're around and they're great in all sorts of love spells and love comes in many, many forms. And so I'll put a video up here for you to look at of my latest violet spell, which is a spell for acceptance. So the love and acceptance that you may have if you're in any kind of closet and come out of it. My May Day Coven is happening at the end of the first week of May and we'll be doing some rituals there. And so do come along and join us. If you would like me to do one-to-one -one sessions with you, I also can organise those on Patreon. So look out at patreon.com forward slash Ginny Metal. But likewise, I understand that money is tight for everyone at the moment and I would be so appreciative if you could join as a witchling and you could be helping me continue making these videos. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have do give me a thumbs up and a subscribe. Tell all your friends about me and I'll see you in my next video.